Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the areas of plane regions using definite integrals. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin sa topic na to, guys. The area of the plane region is equal to the integral of f of x minus g of x dx. Okay? So, kung saan na yung area ng ating region is bounded above by y equals f of x, then below by y equals g of x. Okay, then we have two vertical lines. Una, we have the x equals a. Then, yung pangalawa natin, we have x equals b. Okay, where a and b, ito yung ating magiging uh, interval doon sa ating formula. Okay? Okay. So, let's have example number 1. Find the area of the plane region bounded by the curves y equals x square minus 2 and y equals x. Okay, so, ang first move natin, guys, uh, we need to get the points of intersection between the two curves. Na yung ating y equals x square minus 2 and y equals x. So, using the equation y equals x squared minus 2. So, since dito sa second equation natin, since y is equals to x, so, pwede natin yan i-input dito sa ating equation. So, we have x equals x squared minus 2. So, solve natin yung values ni x. So, lipat natin yan. We have 0 equals x squared minus x minus 2. Okay, then by factoring, so we know that the x square minus x minus 2 is the same lang guys ni x minus 2 times x plus 1. Okay, so we have two possible uh, equations. First, we have x minus 2 equals 0 and the other one is x plus 1 equals 0. Then solving for x. So, lipat natin yan. We have x equals positive 2. Then, if x is equals to 2, using uh, this formula, we know that y is also equals to 2. Right? So, ang first point of intersection natin, we have 2 comma 2. Okay? Then, dun sa may pangalawa naman, solve natin yung x. So, lipat natin yung positive 1. So, magiging negative 1. Okay, then if x is equal to negative 1, so again, by using this formula, we know that y is also negative 1. Okay, then yung pangalawa natin, point of intersection is we have negative 1, negative 1. Tama? So, kung igagraph na natin ngayon, guys, yung ating curves, so makikita natin na yung point of intersections between y equals x and y equals x squared minus 2 is nandun sa point na negative 1, negative 1 and 2, comma 2. Okay? So, ngayon, ma-identify na natin yung ating mga um, gagamitin dun sa ating formula. So, again, ang formula natin, we have the area of the region is equals to the definite integral of f of x minus g of x dx. Okay? So, based dito guys sa ating graph, yung ating shaded region is bounded above by y equals x. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, yung f of x natin is equals to x. Tama? Then, yung ating g of x since our uh, uh, shaded region is bounded below by y equals x squared minus 2, so ang g of x natin is yung x squared minus 2. Okay, then we have two intervals. First, uh, nandito yung ating first vertical line na kay x equals negative 1. Then yung pangalawa, we have x equals 2. Okay, so meaning, ang A natin dito is equals to negative 1, then yung B natin is equals to 
positive 2. Tama? So, by using the formula, the area ng ating region is equal to the definite integral. So, ang A natin, we have negative 1. Then, yung B natin, we have positive 2. Then, we have F of X, which is X, minus G of X, which is X squared minus 2 dx. Okay? So, solve natin to guys. So, una, simplify muna natin. So, distribute natin yung negative. So, we have x minus x square plus 2, then dx. So, apply natin yung integral. So, ang integral ni x, we have uh, x square over 2 minus the integral of x square, which is x cube over 3 plus the integral of 2, that is 2x. Okay, then we have two intervals, negative 1 and 2. Okay, so apply natin yung ating fundamental theorem. So, substitute natin si 2 dun sa ating x. We have 2 square over 2 minus 2 cube over 3 plus 2 times 2. Tama? Then minus, this time, gagamitin natin yung lower interval natin, negative 1. So, that is negative 1 square over 2 minus negative 1 cube over 3 plus 2 times negative 1. Okay, then simplify natin to. So, 2 square over 2, that is 4 divided by 2. We have 2 minus 2 cube, which is 8 over 3 plus 2 times 2, that is 4. Minus, we have negative 1 square over 2. We have uh, 1 half. Then, negative 1 cube. That is negative 1. Then, may minus tayo dito. So, magiging positive 1 over 3. Tama? Then, 2 times negative 1. That is negative 2. So, pagka kinumbay na natin yan, guys. So, uh, makikita natin by using our calculator that the area ng ating uh, region is equals to 9 over 2. Okay? So, let's have another example. Find the area of the plane region bounded by the curves y equals x squared, x equals negative 1, x equals 2, and y equals negative 1. So, again, ang first step natin is we need to get the uh, possible point of intersections ng ating mga curves. So, with respect to y equals x square, so using x equals negative 1, so substitute natin yung 1 dito, we have y equals negative 1 square. Okay, so this is y equals positive 1. Tama? So, possible, ang first point of intersection natin is we have negative 1 and 1. Okay, then, with respect to uh, y equals x square and x equals 2, so, substitute natin yung x dito, that is y equals 2 square, so, we have y equals 4. So, ang second point of intersection natin is we have uh, 2 comma 4. Tama? So, kung i-sketch natin ngayon, guys, itong apat na equation na to, so, makikita natin na yung mga point of intersections natin is we have 2, 4, and negative 1, 1. Tama? Then, as you can see, na yung ating uh, region, or yung area ng ating region is bounded above by y equals um, x square and uh, bounded below by y equals negative 1. So, meaning, ang ating f of x dito is equals to x square, then our g of x is equals to negative 1. Tama? Then, yung ating um, interval, so we have two intervals or two vertical lines. First, um, ang a natin dito is equals to negative 1. Then, yung ating b, ito yun, yung second vertical line, which is equals to 2. 
Okay? So, to get the area ng ating uh, region, so, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating formula na the, the definite integral of f of x minus g of x dx. Okay? So, substitute natin yung mga given natin. First, ang a natin is equal to negative 1. Then, ang b natin is 2. Then, we have f of x which is equals to x square. Then, g of x that is negative 1. So, minus negative 1 dx. Okay? So, simplify natin to guys. So, we have uh, the definite integral of x square plus 1 dx. So, kunin natin yung integral ni x squared. So, that is equals to x cubed over 3 plus the integral of 1 which is equals to x. Tama? Then, we have two intervals, negative 1 to 2. So, apply natin yung ating fundamental theorem. So, we have substitute natin yung 2. So, this is 2 cubed over 3 plus 2 minus Substitute natin yung negative 1, that is negative 1 cube over 3 plus negative 1. Okay, so simplify natin. We have 2 cube, so that is equals to 8 over 3 plus 2 minus negative 1 cube. So we have negative 1 over 3, then plus negative 1, this is negative 1. Okay, then 8 over 3 plus 2. Minus uh, negative 1 over 3 minus 1. So, this is equals to 6. Okay. So, therefore, the area ng ating region is equals to positive 6. Okay. So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba kunin yung area ng ating shaded region or the area between the two curves. Okay, so if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!